All right, this local pizzeria won third place for best pizza on 2019's Best of Las Vegas list after being open for only six months. So that says a lot about their New York slices. Allow me to introduce you to Brooklyn's best pizza and pasta. Let me make you an offer you can't refuse. Pizza, made in Las Vegas, but born in Brooklyn. It's how you doing. It's how you doing. Okay, is that better? How you doing, yeah. How you doing? When you walk into Brooklyn's best pizza and pasta and you take in that classic New York pizzeria vibe, you would think the spot has been around for years. But they only opened their doors in January of 2019 and quickly felt like home. We started off thinking, you know, we just want a, an authentic New York pizzeria, right. and it became more than that because of the uh, the amount of New Yorkers that live in this area, people from the East Coast. Yeah. Boy, they they really call you on it, and they can smell a fake. We're not trying to do anything crazy or, or wacko. Mm -hmm. Just trying to bring back the old style, right. you know, that people remember. People, you know, like my father, my grandfather, my brothers. We just want to do something traditional, great taste. Uh, yeah. We want to show our dough, our, our cheese, our sauce. Those are the stars of the show. The other stars of the show? Joey's team. The restaurant has about 30 employees, and when COVID-19 hit, it was all hands on deck to make ends meet and to feed their community. At first, we were scared. You know, we didn't know whether or not we were going to be able to stay open. Yeah. Our customers kept our doors open. And tell us about your customers, because I walked in, it is yeah. the morning, and they're already in here eating I got the, I got the you best got customers. customers. I got the best customers. They're all on the wall over there. <laughs> loyal customers on the wall, like the Caban family. They moved to Vegas from New York, and if you thought they would eat pizza from just anywhere, forget about it. And I told my wife, there's got to be New Yorkers here that does yeah. good pizza. And I told Joey, I want to see if your pizza's really good. Uh -huh. So after a while, when he let us eat our meal, and he walked up next to us, he says to me, what do you think now? I says, your pizza's very, very good. So with that said, let's learn how to eat a real New York slice from Brooklyn's Best. So we got our white, the eggplant delight, our famous grandma pie, supreme, Sicilian, the meat lovers, traditional cheese, mm -mm -mm. pepperoni, and sausage. Wow. Wow. Okay, so yes. what makes the grandma pie famous? What's special about it? Man, it's got a sweet plum tomato garlic and basil sauce mm -hmm. that if you have a little mustache right here, you're tasting that pie all day long. <laughs> so teach us how so, to eat the Well, you're going you're gonna to grab it from the crust. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Lift it up. So, there I you usually, go. I usually do this. There you go. You see how it doesn't flop? Yeah. And there's so much stuff on there. It uh, should flop. It should. But that's a New York, that's a New York dough. And in true New York fashion, Joey's menu is diverse and packed with culture. They have the pizza and the pasta, of course, but they also have Jamaican beef patties, homemade meatballs, cannolis, wings, and so much more. But that's how we do it over here. What's the what's the difference? How do people normal Usually people put sauce on the bottom, right? Ah. Well our sauce is our sauce is the best, so it's on top. I like that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Call the number on your screen for a BOGO buy one get one free deal, okay? This is a big deal. All advance orders will be honored if the order is placed today only. You can also vote for them on this year's Best of Las Vegas list at bestoflasvegas.com. We'll be right back here in Las Vegas now.